So what do we have here? This is the new Altair Astro Hypercam 269C ProTech camera. I've been lucky enough to have a quick play with this camera and I just thought I would bring you a first look video and unboxing so you can all have a look and see what you think. Really at first we should have a look at what's in the box. It comes with the standard um, armoured case which I must admit is a, a great addition. Um, it's quite a tough sturdy case. There's Luna barking at something random. Um, but we have the Altair Hypercam 269C inside. You get a USB 3 cable. Get a power lead. A power supply. Spare desiccant cartridges, though um, these should never really be need to be used. And a two inch nose piece which is threaded so that you can um, put a filter on the end like so. And that just threads onto the end of the camera. I have tried this camera with the tri-band filter already and it works very well. And basically um, it's produced a cracking image of the Rosette Nebula. But it has a few features which I think you'll be very interested in. So the camera has the same form factor as all the rest of the Hypercam Pro Tech models. Um, and it's got like the inbuilt USB 2 hub and it's got its USB 3 connection there. Um, this is where you connect the power and obviously you can use the provided power supply but I've been powering it via my Pegasus pocket power box. Now this camera as you've probably guessed is based um, on the Sony IMX 269C sensor which is a micro four thirds sensor uh, size with 20 megapixels and a pixel size of 3.3 microns and it's a really nice sensor but the greatest feature that I've uh, discovered of it so far is that you know some other CMOS sensors they um, exhibit glows so like the starburst on um, on a side of the image this sensor has no glow whatsoever. So I'm going to now show you my Rosette Nebula image and I'll also show you a single frame taken of the Rosette Nebula prior to dark subtraction. So, all in all, I can think you'll agree that this is a great addition to the Hypercam series. I'm looking forward to capturing more images with it and a full review will happen as soon as I've used it enough to be able to say, yeah, I can review this fully. I hope you've enjoyed the first look at this new Altair camera. I'm absolutely excited to use it and um, watch out for the review um, when it comes.